welcome back to my channel it's Myrna here and today I have a thrift haul for you I spent uh, my Saturday this last Saturday thrifting with my husband uh, we went to three stores and we picked up a whole bunch of stuff to resell on eBay and Poshmark and uh, Goodwill um, will give you 25% off for your birthday and um, so you can just use that 25% off on one day only on the month of your birthday. So I chose Saturday, July 1st, and um, I went to three stores, like I said, and I only found stuff to buy or purchase uh, at two stores. My third store was a bust, which is usually the store where we find a lot of great stuff. So, but we had just gone there recently and we didn't find anything that was uh, interesting or worth picking up for reselling. Um, but yeah, let me show you uh, what I picked up over the weekend. And most of it is all bread and butter. Um, that's what pays the bills. And um, so let me show you. I'm gonna start with my shoes and uh, let's get started here. Um, starting with a belt. I believe I paid uh, $1.99 for this belt and it's just a macrame brown belt with this beading on it super cute and it is new with tags or new without tags and these types of belt belts always sell really well for me they don't sell for a lot of money um but maybe about 20 dollars or so um it should sell pretty quickly they're very popular so um these um i usually use words like uh, festival boho um yeah and they do they do sell really fast so happy to have found that one and then i picked up this nice belt with this nice round uh, rhinestone detail on it and this is the first time i found this brand it's called gabriel b and i believe it's a size 34 yeah it says on there somewhere medium 34 but nice black leather little bit distressed but not too bad and I just love the buckle very very nice hoping to sell this one for 20 to 25 then I picked up another studded leather belt look at how cool this is it has like copper color silver and a gold nice buckle there and this is the first time I ever find this brand also this one's called Lakeshore Drive never heard of this brand but this style of belts do sell really well i just recently sold a studded belt for 30 some dollars so hoping to sell this one for 25 to 30. all right and then i found some donald pliner leather uh corky wedge sandals there they do have some wear on the uh soles quite a bit but otherwise everything else seems pretty good so i'll probably list these around 25 to 30. we'll see how they do i actually wore those on saturday or actually sunday for my daughter's uh my granddaughter's uh, graduation party i had these on very comfy so i got to wear them then i found i picked up these nice leather sandals by paul green there you go. And these are marked as a size six. Not sure what that translates uh, in US size, but they are in pretty decent condition, especially the uppers. Um, just a little bit of wear on the soles, but very nice sandals. These should sell for about 35 to 40. Then I picked up these nice uh, Clarks snake print back heel they're like kitten heels very nice these should sell for around 25 to 35 they almost look new then we grab these teva or teva I'm not sure how you pronounce that these cork wedge sandals uh, a little bit of wear on the soles hoping to sell those for like 20 to 25 dollars and we grab some Dansko 
wooden sandal, like a clog sandal. Very nice red color. These are size 38. And I got these listed already and they're getting quite a bit of attention. So I'm sure they'll sell anywhere from 40 to 50. Okay, the next item we picked up are these Solomon Women's these are called the Wings Flight 2. They are trail shoes and they are in really good condition. I just sold a pair of these. Uh, this brand, the, they tend to sell really fast for me. And these are women's size 9. They just have a little bit of wear there at the toe area. Otherwise, they are great. So hoping to sell those for around 35 to 40 then we picked up these men's leather loafers and these are by a brand i've never heard of before they're called rangoni of florence so they're italian shoes look at the soles they are marked a 41 and a half not sure what that translates into us size there's the label but uh, sold comps show that these shoes can sell for over a hundred dollars so haven't done much research but we will see i will see what those are gonna sell for and let you know then we got some foot joys these are just white men's golf shoes very nice condition and these are a men's size 11 wide and those these type of foot joy golfing shoes usually sell around 35 to 40 for me. Then we got these women's Sorel. I think these are called Joan of Arctic 2. Paid $10, but I did get 25% off because of my birthday discount. So they, they are like a green color maybe. And yeah, we paid like $7.50, they're in great condition. And these, I'm um, not sure what the sold comps are, but they should do at least 50 or more. All right, then we got these men's vans. And these, I believe, are called the Mashup Flames. Um, they still have the tag inside from Nordstrom. They look like they were never worn so not sure what the comps are for these they are a men's size 13. nope sorry they're a men's 11 and a half so we will see what the vans sell for i will report back and then i picked up these sandals they have some wear but i know that it is a very good brand it's called sesto musi or muchi and they are a women's eight and a half medium and they do have some wear on the soles they're really cute have a metal detail there uh nice slip on sandal and i did see sold comps for these type of sandals for around 40 to 50 maybe even more i don't i don't recall but um, I thought they're good quality. I tried them on. They're just a little bit big on me, but they look really nice when you wear them. So we will see what they'll sell for. And then I found these Vince uh, Women's Black Patent Leather Loafers. And I have to figure out what size they are because there's Vince in there. I don't see the size marked anywhere um, and they are a little bit big on me so I'm thinking they're probably a size 9. Um, they're in good condition overall so we will see what those sell for. Okay my next item that I found is this Ruana. It's an alpaca blend poncho style. I think it's a Ruana because it ties here and it has no sleeves. Um, beautiful stripe with a trim at the hem and I um, do not find any available on the internet I did see a special store that's selling it for $250 they are made in Ecuador and it is 30% uh, acrylic 70% alpaca 
but a uh, very rare piece and I'm excited to see how this is gonna do. I have it listed already for $109.95, so $110. I will let you know how this does. It's super excited to have found this. Okay, the next item I picked up is this very pretty cobalt blue Alexis, size medium, fit and flare dress. It buttons in the front. It is a maxi to midi length and it does have pockets. And I did find flaws after I picked it up or brought it home. It has these two faded areas in the side here. But I will list it and disclose it. And we will see how this dress does. All right. Next, I picked up these men's size 38 by 32. Cool outdoor pants in a brownish color. Excellent condition and hoping to sell these upwards of $50. Then I picked up this Patagonia, size medium. This is, I think this is called the Better Sweater and it is a quarter zip. So happy to have picked this up. Next, I picked up these Women's Duluth, size eight Flexpedition outdoor hiking nylon pants in a color gray, hoping to sell these for $35 or more. Then I picked up Chico's Women's Size 2, which is a large. It's a pretty floral top, has a zipper in the back, and hoping to sell this for $25 to $30. Chico tops have been selling really well for me. Then I picked up this Rose and Olive 1X floral pretty blouse and I have sold this type of blouse in the past for $20 to $25. They don't sell for a lot but I still pick them up when I get them for $250 to $3 at Goodwill. So here we have J. Jill Love Linen size small. It is a 100% linen striped peasant um, popover with a pretty aqua blue embroidery on it. Hoping to sell that for 25 or more. My next item is a McLaughlin size medium women's Durham Catalina cloth top. And these are selling upwards of $40 on eBay. So happy to have found it. Um, we will see how this one does. Then I grabbed this men's rollback. This is a Bolo brand, in case you've never heard of it. It is a men's large performance golf t-shirt, and it is in a red color. And I listed it this morning, and I already have an offer. That's their logo. I have an offer already on Poshmark for $35, which I'm going to sit on because I have... Um, some six watchers on eBay already and a whole bunch of likes on Poshmark. So I'm going to wait. I believe I have it listed for $45 on eBay and $49 on Poshmark. I always price a little higher on Poshmark because I send out offers um, once somebody likes it. So I will let you know how this one does, but it is a Bolo brand. So remember that, Roback. I picked up this very pretty Chico's shift dress. It is a petite size three, which is an extra large petite, and it is a nice swing shift dress. Has a nice cross back in the back. So super nice, and hoping to sell that for 30 or more. Then I grabbed this soft surroundings. A chenille sweater with a hoodie and that is a size extra large nice oatmeal color Sundance these are nice white linen blend shorts very good condition they have nice um, embroidered detail to the side and these don't have a size mark to them, but I measured them and I think they're either a 16 or an 18. I have to double check that. 
All right, next item I picked up is this women's size small kabu dress. It is a racer back shift dress. Has a small pocket in the front, nice purple color. And it retailed for $60. So I will see how this one does. I've never picked up dresses by this brand. I did sell uh, recently sell a backpack from this brand and it sold really quickly. So we will see how that one does. Then I grabbed this blank NYC size small. It is a drape front modal faux leather jacket. So we will see how this one does. Not sure what the comps are for it, but it's in great condition. I also grabbed this Lululemon Pace Setter White Skort. Has a little bit of wear, um, especially on the inside. It looks like somebody was riding a bike with it and left the imprint of the seat on it. Um, I've already tried cleaning it. It doesn't come off, so I'm just gonna list it as is. I believe it is a size, it's a size 10 regular. But at least the back is, you know, doesn't have any staining. It's just the inner short. Um, yeah, just recently sold one for $40 to $45 on eBay. So I had to pick that one up. This brand I usually don't pick up unless it's linen. Um, this is 100% linen. It is a button front tunic top. And it is a size 3X, which I love picking up the larger sizes. Very nice tunic top it does have the roll tab sleeves and those mother of pearl buttons that i like so hoping to sell that for 30. another piece of linen this one's by sigrid olsen and it is a size medium just pretty pop over linen top for summer this one is a lauren jeans company it's a size medium linen blend sweater and it is Aztec boho print. I recently sold one for about $35, so I'll grab this one as well. All right, here we have John Barbados. This is a cologne set. This was $10, we got 25% off, so $7.50. And I saw, saw sold comps of $35, I think. I remember correctly so hoping to sell that one for around the same amount it is a four piece set of their different colognes so happy to pick that up and then i found a bolo that was uh, on my bolo list for quite a long time i finally found it is a goldie and these are the uh, button fly parker shorts and they are in great condition. These are a size 30. I was super thrilled to pick these up because I have been on the hunt for this brand forever. So not sure what the comps are for these, um, but I will let you know. I did, uh, they were $5.99 and then I got 25% uh, off. So they were like $4.50. So very thrilled to have found that. Then I picked up this Pilcro in the letterpress jean jacket with a an eyelet gingham hem. Super, super cute jean jacket. It is in great condition and I, I just love it. I think this is so pretty. And this is a size large. It was marked at $12.99, but I did get 25% off. So it turned out to be $9.75. Very nice jean jacket then i picked up the zara women's high-waisted shorts with embroidered mickey mouse they are button fly they have some distressing as you can see and these are a women's size six and i have previously sold these shorts in the past and they sold really really fast so when i saw these i wanted to grab them right away all right this was a very good find this is by anthropology and it is new with tags there's the tag it is an extra small and it's called verb polyvi singi 
You see that? I've <laughs> never heard of the brand. But it is um, by Anthropology. And look at the detail on this dress. How pretty is that? Nice sleeves. It is a shift dress in this red and buttery yellow color. Has the sequin in the back. And look at the tassels. They're very, very pretty tassels. So um, they had this dress marked at $24.99. And the yellow color tags were half price. And I got 25% off on top of that. So the dress turned out to be $9.37. And these dresses seem to sell really well. They have um, a good sell-through rate, so not sure what I'm going to price my dress at, but I was super thrilled to have found it. I will report back and let you know how that one does. And it's Christmas in July, right? So I picked up this Disney catalog, women's embroidered white shirt, uh, button-up shirt, and it has this awesome embroidery on it. It is new with tags and it's a size medium. It is in great, nice, clean condition. Nothing wrong with it. So um, I don't know what the comps are for it, but being Disney and with all this pretty embroidery, I didn't want to leave it. I will let you know how this one does and report back. All right, then I picked up this dress. It is a plus size by Susan Graver. It is actually not a plus size. Well, extra large. It's blurry. But it's a pretty floral midi dress. And this style of dresses sell really well for me. They do have pockets on the side. The dress has pockets. It's a very pretty floral. Hoping to sell that for 30 my husband found this one it is a polo by polo by <laughs> it is a polo by ralph lauren size large look at this awesome polo shirt with the big pony usa look at the back it has the flag and i know that these um are selling really well on ebay especially so not sure what i'm going to price mine at uh but too bad i didn't find it before the fourth of july because this is totally fourth of july material but we will see what i saw that for and then i was excited to find this it is a um brand sold by johnny was and it is called the for love and liberty size small it is a silk dress, has this velvety feel to it. Silk, very, very pretty dress. Not sure what I'm gonna price it at. And I don't even know if these dresses sell for a lot, but I thought that being that it's part of Johnny Was line, it should do well. So I will let you know how this one does. Actually, this one was priced at $7.99, and after my 25% off, I paid $6. I picked up these pants by J. Crew. They are linen, just like a basic jogger pant with the tie at the waist there. Nice pockets, and this is a size 2. I paid $6 after my discount. This one is really cute jumpsuit. It is by the brand Commando. Never heard of it before. And it is a size small. Is it small or size eight? Size small. And it was a yellow tag, so that was half price. So after my discount, I paid $2.99 for this brown velvet jumpsuit. It's sleeveless, has pockets, super, super nice. Has the smock leg, the smock waist, very, very nice. And I don't know what I'm gonna price it at, but I will let you know how this one performs. 
Then I picked up this Rachel Zoe or Zoe. It is a size medium. It's just a yellow 100% linen blouse, super cute floral for summer. And after my discount, I paid $4 for that. Another linen shirt by C&C California. I love picking up this brand in linen. It's a size medium. And it is a tropical toucan print, novelty print, button-up linen shirt. And after discount, I paid $4 for this one as well. Then I grabbed this J. Jill linen dress. It is a large, it is a yellow color, and it's 100% linen, no pockets, but it's a nice shift dress with this embroidery at the hem. And it has that pin tuck detail at the front. This one was marked at $10, but it was yellow, so that's half price. After discount, $3.74. Very nice dress for summer. Okay, then I picked up a Chico's Travelers Slinky Acetate Size 3 Wide Leg Crop Pant. These always sell for at least 25 or more. And size 3 is an extra large for Chico's. I also picked up this beautiful red, white, and blue one-piece Bowden swimsuit with a halter necktie, and this is a size eight. And I actually already wore it to a pool party. <laughs> Before I sell it, I got to wear it, and it's in great condition. So happy to have found this. I also picked up these size 8 women's black yoga pants. They have the wide leg and good condition here. No flaws. There's the logo on the back of the leg. Another pair of Lululemon joggers. These are a size 12 and they're just black basic jogging pants. Then I found this really nice Adidas new with tags floral jacket. It is a crop style. It is a size, mm, it is a size small. Here's the tag. So nice jacket. How cute is this? Beautiful, beautiful colors. I love it. So like I said, it is cropped. It does have little side slits. I'm not sure what I'll price this at, but I will let you know how that one performs. My final item is this really cute coral leather tote bag. It does have one flaw there. It has this pen mark there. Overall, great condition, super clean on the inside. Doesn't have a brand on it, so I'm not sure if you guys recognize this brand or style. Um, let me know. Paid $3.74 for it. I might end up keeping it, but I'm not sure. And yeah, nice little summer tote. Um, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed my thrift haul video. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would truly appreciate and um, love to have you follow my YouTube journey. And I hope that you guys are having great sales, um, having fun garage sailing and finding great things to sell on eBay and all the platforms that you sell on. And well, I guess that's all I have. Hasta luego, mis amigos. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.